In this video, I will show you how to run a SQL Server profiler trace using stored procedures instead of using the GUI for the profiler. The reason to do that is because this GUI takes up extra resources to run. So this will save on resources while we run our traces. So the first thing to do is to open the GUI and we're going to use it only to create the scripts that we will run in SQL Server Management Studio later to run the trace. So click on File, New Trace. Then give your trace a name. I'll name it My Trace 3. Then select a template and I will use one I created earlier, my trace template 1, and then set a stop time. I'll make it 12.30 a.m., which will be in about 7 minutes. Then click Run. And now that my trace is running, I can stop it. And now to save the script for the trace events, I'll click File, Export, Script Trace Definition for SQL Server 2005 through 2008. And then I can name it. I'll name it Trace Script 2. Or actually, I'll name it 3 and then click Save button. And now I have saved the trace events as a script file that I can open up in SQL Server Management Studio and then I can run the script from there. And now if I open the trace script 3.sql file in SQL Server Management Studio I can see that it has generated a script for me and this script will run the trace and I need to replace where it says insert file name here with a path and a name of a file where it can save the results of my trace. So I can replace that with a path and I can name it trace script 3 output and I don't need to put an extension on it it will add the .trc extension so I just need to give it a path and then a file name without an extension to run the trace click the Execute button and it says the request trace stop time has already passed. So we just need to change this date time here and we can change it to instead of 1230 we could change it to 1250 and then press the Execute button again and we can see the trace ID is 2 and now this will this trace will run in the background and it will accomplish the same thing as the SQL Server profiler when it collects the trace data only it won't take so many system resources the trace will stop at 1250 which is defined by date time and it's a good idea to define a stop time for traces you want to run like this um, because it's easier to stop them if they have a stop time than to stop them manually. To see which traces I currently have running, I can execute this select statement, select all from fn underscore trace underscore get info default and if I run that, I can see that I have two traces 
the first one has a trace ID of 1, and the second has a trace ID of 2. To find the status of the trace, for trace ID 1, find where the property is 5, and then the value is 1. And 1 means it is um, running, and 0 would mean that it was stopped. And then for trace ID 2, for property 5, we can see the value is 1. So we know that that trace is running. To stop a running trace, execute this statement, exec sp underscore trace underscore set status 1 comma 0, where 1 is the trace ID that you want to stop, and 0 is the status, which means stop, 0 means stop. And then to delete the trace, you can execute this statement with a 2 instead of a 0, where 2 would be the status of delete, and 1 is the trace ID. And um, this cannot be executed until after it is stopped. So first you want to stop the trace, and then you can delete it. So now I will try running these two statements. And first I'm going to stop the trace with trace ID 2. And then I'm going to delete the trace with trace ID 2. And now if I execute this statement to see which traces are running, then the trace ID 2 is no longer there because I stopped and deleted it.